Hi everybody, happy fall and welcome back to Middle Grade Monday. I'm Lori and I'm the teen librarian at Manlius Library and I'm coming to you from the chapter book section of our children's room and I'm going to tell you about three brand new middle grade books. I'm going to start with All the Answers by Kate Messner. All the Answers. It's about Ava, Ava Anderson. She's a 12 year old with a lot to worry about. She could get killed on an upcoming school field trip. She might have to play her saxophone so poorly at middle school band tryouts that she's laughed out of the room. And although her parents say they're in love, what if they get divorced? But then Ava finds a blue pencil, an old blue pencil in the junk drawer in her kitchen. And she discovers during a math test that if she asks the pencil a question, it will give her a factual answer. She and her best friend Sophie have a great time and Ava grows in self-confidence and stops worrying quite so much until the pencil reveals a truth about her family that Ava would rather not know. This one is solidly realistic fiction with a little bit of magic in the pencil. Next I have the newest one by Mike Lupica, The Turnover. This one's a basketball story and it's also a family story. It's about Lucas Winston. He's 12 years old and he's having a great year. He has great friends, he's making good grades in school, and his basketball team, the Wolves, is co which is coached by his grandfather, Sam Winston, is undefeated so far. Lucas's father died when he was a baby of cancer, but he grew up really close to his mom and Sam has stepped in to be a father figure for him. They bond over basketball and Sam always offers solid life advice along with basketball tips. But things start to unravel a little bit when Lucas, a passionate writer, decides to write a biographical paper about his grandfather for a school project. Against Sam's wishes, Lucas researches his grandfather's past. And in the process, a secret comes to light that threatens the team. And more importantly, it threatens Lucas's relationship with his grandfather. This is another winner by Mike Lupica. And finally, the third book today is super fun. It's presented by Chris Grabenstein and it's called Super Puzzle Tastic Mysteries. You might know the author, Chris Grabenstein, from Mr. Lemoncello's library. He's great with mysteries and twists and puzzles, and that's what this is. This is 20 different authors brought together through the Mystery Writers of America, and they have written mystery stories that you can work through the puzzles and solve yourself. And one of the best things is in the end, in the back are all of the solutions, not just the answers, but how to get there. Great one for if, if you want just a quick bite of a book or if you really love puzzles. Well, that's it. Thanks for joining me today for the first edition of Fall Middle Grade Monday. I've given you three books to choose from. If you are interested in any of them, give us a call or pop over to our website at manliestlibrary.org and put them on hold. Have a great day. I hope you're all having a great school year and I'll see you next Monday. Don't stop.